For question seven, how many five-digit numbers using the digits one through nine? Now, notice we, there is no zero. Only once contain exactly one one. So we have to consider uh, five different scenarios in our five-digit numbers. And that's where one comes first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. So if one, number one comes first, then we have one choice for the first number. And since we can't use zero, then we have eight choices for our second digit, seven choices for our third, six choices for our fourth, and five choices for our fifth number. Now, if one comes second, well, we don't have a zero, so there's only eight digits to choose from. And since one is automatically going to be our second digit, then it's going to be times one. And we have seven digits left to choose from for our third. Fourth, we have six choices. And, and so you're going to notice that these are the same product. So this is going to be 1,680. And this is 1,680 as well. And we're going to end up getting the same thing every time. Same numbers multiplied together because for if one comes third, it's going to be 8 times 7 times 1 choice because that's our number. That's going to be 1 times 6 times 5. If it comes fourth, it's going to be 8 times 7 times 6 times 1 because our fourth digit is a one times five. So we only have one choice for their, our fourth digit. And lastly, eight times seven times six times five times one. And so these are all equal to 1,680. So the number of choice, the number of, of five-digit numbers, is going to be five times one thousand six hundred and eighty, and you could have also done this as five because we have five ways that we can arrange the number one times the permutation of eight. Choose four because. There are eight numbers to choose from, and we're going to pick four numbers and order matters. How many six-letter six letter arrangements can be made using the word Simcoe with no restrictions? Well, there are six letters, so it's going to be six factorial, which is 720. And the number of arrangements where... Um, it must be alternate consonant vowel. Well, there are three consonants and three vowels. So you can do this a couple of ways. Um, one way, because we could start with any of our six letters. And when what comes next, we have either, if we started with a consonant, then we must have a vowel. If we started with a vowel, then we need to have a consonant. So that means we have three choices. Then we have two choices left because if it started with a consonant, now we have to go with a consonant third. And this also is going to be then seventy two. We could have also done this as equal to 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2, which will be 6 times 6 times 2. And the reason we have to multiply it by 2 is for whether consonant comes first or consonant comes second. Now, the number of arrangements, if you have a family car that has five seats, then we're going to have a number of arrangements. And if it's if we got five seats, we're going to have five people. Well, for the first one, since um, two people can drive, then we're, 
have two choices for who goes in the driver's seat. Once we do that, once we assign the first seat, the driver, then there are four choices for who gets the passenger seat, then three choices for who gets the one rear seat, two choices for the second rear seat, and three choices for the third um, rear seat. And so two times four times three times two times one is 48. Now, if you have a seven person van, then, and two people can drive, well, again, you have two choices for um, who's gonna be driving. Then we have six seats left. So it's gonna be six choices for uh, the, the second person, five choices for the third person, four choices for the fourth person, and the last person has three seats to choose from. So there are three ways the last person could pick their last their remaining seat. And so then this is going to be 720.